What's up, everybody? Colin Royce here. I'm a producer out of Louisville, Kentucky. And today we're going to be going through how I made this track here. Sound selection, how we got these vocal chops, drum pack selection. It's all here. Let's vibe. Just a happy little tune, you know? Just a happy little tune. Let's get into it. All right, the uh, the initial idea of this track all came from Outputs Arcade, which is, I highly recommend getting it if you can afford it, because it's just like, it's an idea machine. Like, every time you sit down, there's like almost, it seems like infinite amounts of packs that you can just load up and just really get something going pretty quickly. So this one uh, came from a pack by Arcade, uh, the taped straight to laser disc. All it is is just hit one key here. And it sounded dope to me, so decided to roll with it. So that's basically, that plays through the, the whole track there. Um, and then on top of that, we stack this little melody here, which is just um, from the same, from the same uh, pack. You know what I mean? That's that just sounds dope. It would probably take like twenty minutes of sound design to try to get you know something out of Omnisphere sounding like lo-fi like that. But they just like got it out the out the box like that. So it sounds like this together. So uh, one thing is I have this uh, plugin from Slate Digital called Murder Melodies right here. And this is like another one. It's just like you just put it on anything and it just makes it sound good. Without without it, it sounds like this. Which is pretty good, but I think it just sounds a little bit better when you put it on. A little bit more mysterious, you know? Then uh, Slate Digital also came out with like their version of Ableton's OTT, which when I heard about, I was very excited because um, I love the way OTT sounds, but it's like, it's hard to, it takes a lot of time to like a lot of tweaking and like dialing in to get what you want, like something that sounds pleasing to the ear, to the ear. but this uh, MoTT, I don't know why it's called MoTT, because we need MoTT, oh shit. But it's it does a good job. So like without it, with it, I'll solo it so you can hear it better. All right. So without it, with it, very subtle. But it like just it just punches through a little bit, which is like what OTT is all about. I feel like this is going to be a plugin that I'm just going to be using a lot on everything. Uh, so then the next part um, was basically the same melody line from, uh, let's see, from this. But just so. So they just made it more, more distant. Um, so just to keep the variation going, I just repeated it. Probably turn that up a little bit. Just a little spacey vibe. Um, and then, what really I think, well, like with this idea, before I put the the uh, percussion loops in, I was like, oh, this would be okay. But if you don't know, the Count drums by the Count Cole are just amazing like every especially i love the percussion loops they just sound so 
crispy and so professional and just have such a good feel. So I just layered a few loops from that pack. Uh, I'll go through them from it's the count drums volume three. Put this on top. And then I love this little triangle thing here. What a vibe. So then uh, we go into the drop. Let's listen to that real quick. So main thing with the drop is this loop here also from the count. I mean, I don't know. This has made me a bad producer because, like, this this whole track is, like, it's just loops and uh, pressing one note on arcade. But, you know, it sounds pretty good to me. So, you know, fuck it. So, with this, um, using Smack Attack and Knock by uh, Plugins at Knock. So, I'm going to take those off real quick. attack all i'm doing is just turning down the sustain so that when uh it just punches a little bit more and then turning up the attack i feel like i turn up the attack a little bit more to be honest and then knock just making it knock just pulling up the punch and the saturate a little bit and then a little bit of the clip and the air here and then uh one, if you have Trillion, I highly recommend using their, uh, in their deep bass or deep tone section. Uh, they have the sub pure and let's show you what it sounds like. Just like a highly responsive, uh, 808 that always seems to, to punch through. And it's like, it's right there. It does its job. Um, so we wrote this baseline to MIDI. Right. Um, did a lot of processing on the bass actually. Um, our bass by Waves is uh, also phenomenal. I'm just going to mute all these and then we'll go through them. Um, so with nothing and then just add our base I just did a, a preset on it and what our base is like the purpose of, it just makes it come through on like uh, mainly like laptop and iPhone speakers but in the process of doing that it just makes it sound better everywhere and I just like I said I just hit a preset on that then uh, the uh, slate digital uh, virtual mix rack. I just loaded a preset there. Then carved out a bunch of frequencies. And it sounds like thin when you listen to it just by itself, but it, it fits nice in the track. Then just took out uh, all the highs that I could on this SSL channel here. Mo TT. That's doing a lot. Yeah, let's listen to that without mo tt with it just a little bit more mean just a little bit and uh this one knob uh volume shaper gives a little bit of a pump very very subtle but uh when you listen to it in the whole track it just what like when the kick hits you don't want your bass to hit at the same time as the kick um, or you at least want the volume, the, the levels to be offset a little bit, um, cause if they're competing for the same space, then you get no bounce at all. Um, let's bring in the drums here. Yeah, this is very subtle. And then a little bit of distortion, uh, actually. I might consider that consider that a lot of distortion, uh, but just to make it cut through because there's a lot of like mid rangey stuff going on, so just wanted the bass to come through. Um, and then there's these lead parts on the on the drop. And that 
is I wish I could sit here and tell you that I went and found some obscure sample on the internet and chopped it up. But I didn't. I just, uh, I went into arcade and I went to a preset because I knew that I was going to be able to find something dope. And that's what I found. So, uh, with it. And then there's that little melody line, which, um, I use, uh, some more, uh, murder melodies on it. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so with no, uh, murder melodies, and with it, it's like the same, but better. I always feel like whenever you hear something and like you're working on something like when you're mixing and it like it just sounds the same but better like i feel like you did something right there um so like just without it one more time with it to uh to just like keep it interesting over the the drop just drop out the drums here for one measure Break it back. really helps and then one little slide thing i did was um let's see if we can find it here is I just automated the volume off of uh, a utility in Ableton uh, to bring, this is a, the main part. And just brought the volume down a little bit. So it just like helps it be less, just a little bit less repetitive. Now I just worked on this track for, you know, an hour, an hour and a half or something. So, there's not too like it's still kind of like I would I wouldn't release this like it needs like a lot more work like probably like three to four more days three to four more like five hour sessions to to get it right but like just adding little things like that over and over and over again little volume changes little automation stuff like tweaking a knob here in the middle of the song when you don't expect it those things those little things add up and then by the time you're done with the track after you know making a ton of those little tweaks you know it really sounds like its own work of art it's just like something totally different where like you don't even remember how you got to that sound um and that's kind of that's like what you want because right now like this is cool but it still kind of sounds like you know it it's it sounds like a beat in progress like when you get to the point where you're like, this just sounds like a, a damn song and I don't even know how I made it to me, at least recently, like that's, that's my trigger for like, okay, this is, this is almost finished. So fades out a little bit and it's back and we do it again. see what else we got here and that's pretty much it so pretty simple but like you know this is uh this is my first beat back from thanksgiving break so just wanted to make something and just try to knock the rust off and get back into it uh one last thing i did want to go over and i think this is like um technique that i i learned making this and i'm going to use it over and over again um, is this like lead into the drop? Here. So I just took uh, one of the snares from the drum loop. That snare right there. Um, and just moved it over here. And then I actually pitched it up uh, five semitones to just make it sound more like, um, like more recognizable as a snare. So without it pitched up, 
than with it. Sounds a little bit better. Um, but when I did that, the effect wasn't hitting because there was still some reverb going on from these other uh, tracks here. So if you see here on this utility, it cuts out the sound. So if without it, there's still a little bit going on. And then there was this one too. Yeah. So like, listen to the difference. Doesn't hit the same because there's the, you need like that, like full stop silence to like suck the air out and then bring it back in. Um, and really a lot of times when you're working in the doll, there's no other way to do that by then other than just putting a utility on and then turning the track down, uh, just for that, you know, half a measure. So with it. Gotta have the pause, baby. Gotta have the pause. That's it. Uh, once again, my name's Colin Royce. Uh, I'm out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, if you liked at all what you saw here, please uh, leave a or leave a, a comment, subscribe, um, or like. Uh, it helps me out a lot. We're trying to grow the YouTube channel right here, and I'm glad that you uh, decided to watch this video. If you got anything out of it, let me know. And uh, until next time, peace.